Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. For those who have seen my previous video, you guys know that I'm in Hong Kong and this is gonna be my Hong Kong vlog. That's it. This is my outfit of the day. Now I'm ready to go and explore Hong Kong. For sure, I got my steps in today. I start to realize that Hong Kong is such a complex architecture because there are so many hidden paths uh, to take the stairs up, underground, that leads you into a mall, to residential building, to office buildings. For sure, I got lost like 10 times, but I found my way back. And, and now I want to share some of the things that I got. You know how some people have addictions for clothes, for shoes, for um, accessories. My weakness is skincare. I think today was a great success at finding great skincare products and now I'm gonna explain you why. Uh, let's start with simple stuff. This is uh, the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel that I've been using for years and I always keep it but I also like to try other things. But I found it for the price, I will double check right now, It's it was on sale and I got it for 93 Hong Kong dollars. I'm not sure what's that exactly in dollars or euros. Um, I will put up here and I did check the expiration date, it's perfectly good. Uh, next one, I got this, the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. Never used it before, honestly, they had so many The Ordinary products and I never tried Ordinary's products before. Um, so I was like, okay, they're all here, why don't I get something to try? And I recently ran out of my Korean uh, Niacinamide serum. So I decided to try this one. I don't know, maybe 10% is a bit too strong. I will read more about it. Maybe I need to build my skin tolerance a bit before starting to use it, but I don't regret getting it. Now I'm moving to Korean skincare finds. Brand is called Soubute. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm not sure they're doing it right to call it a French freaking sounding name. Um, I honestly don't know anything about, but from what I read online, just standing in the shop, um, it's supposed to be a good one for acne prone skin, deep clean, soothing and moisturizing. A refreshing cleanser infused with five types of hyaluronic acid, willow bark extract and axira such as centrella, asiatica leaf extract, camellia, camellia sinensis leaf extract, gently removes excess oil and dirt, leaving your skin looking healthier and rejuvenated. Effective all skin types. I don't know if this is a wow product, but I want to fall in love with it, so I'll try. Next, I got this Anua uh, soothing cream. This is something that I was going to get instead of uh, my usual Clinique. You never know with new products, but I did want to try this brand. Uh, and they had so many products and I wanted to try so many of them, but I decided to start with a cream because I left my moisturizing cream in Shanghai, so I was on the hunt. Next, oh, please tell me if you know this brand. I've been seeing it a lot on Instagram. I haven't tried anything by this brand yet, but it has been popping up on my Instagram a lot. So I want to try, this is a heat leaf spot pad calming, calming touch. It comes with tweezers and a plastic cover. So I think I'll be trying it out today. It's supposed to be good for acne prone skin, for balancing your pH, excess oils and all that goodness. Lastly, I got these pimple patches. The variety of pimple patches in the shops here are insane. Uh, but I decided to go with these ones. I don't know why. Good day, people. 
it's another day in Hong Kong. This is my outfit for the day and right now I'm heading to Hermes to try to exchange my shoes. If you watched my previous video, you know why I'm going there right now and wishing me luck. So I just stopped by the store and they told me that they couldn't exchange uh, my shoes for exactly the same ones but they could offer me something else that they have in the store they wanted me to have a look but I wanted those particular ones unfortunately they're unavailable in Hong Kong because they're all sold out but they were very nice and they are trying to see what they can do about it and they said they're gonna try to exchange it before I have to leave Hong Kong so a few more days I'm gonna see how it goes I really hope that I'm gonna get the same shoes if not then I guess I'll look for something else there are a lot of beautiful things in the store Surprisingly, the store in Hong Kong is beautiful and it's huge, but it does not have as many things as the Shanghai one does. I think I'm officially addicted. I'm coming back to these all the time. Not sure how much it's gonna turn out from my attempt to style the hair because my hair is naturally don't hold any styling for long and on top of everything Hong Kong is very humid so since my camera was not filming I'll show you the final result so far it looks like this I'm not sure how long it's gonna last what do we think we finally made it to the Now I'm all ready to go out for dinner, change to a different outfit and we're gonna explore uh, Hong Kong at night and maybe check out the speakeasy that we we're planning to go to. Just some last minute touches and we're ready to go. Good morning guys, this is our last full day in Hong Kong and right now we're deciding what to do and where to go I do need to stop by the YSL shop for the for my friend Oh, it's probably Are they next yeah. to each other? From Peninsula to Cup Noodle it's uh, 14 <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put on my yeah, sneakers today Hi guys, welcome to another day but Be more like uh, enthusiastic Notice that on a lot of the videos I look like Grumpy. Right now we're heading out to take a boat to the other side of Hong Kong. We're going to Kowloon area. We're gonna visit a few museums and do a bit of shopping. What else? There, there's stuff that I can tell, but I feel shy to be talking in front of you. Like I want to talk about 2024. What, what should I do? Like open the door and like <laughs> row out of the car? activities full of things to see i honestly fell in love with hong kong it reminds me of singapore in a way um, definitely want to be coming back here soon to discover more of it it's been an incredible trip i'm so grateful for being able to be here as for tonight we're just uh, having a few drinks at the rooftop of our hotel with a beautiful view that i showed you before since this is my first vlog in 2024 i feel that it's very special and it's important to be grateful for everything that we have experienced and everything that's coming up for the next year 
I have so much fun for 2024 and I just cannot wait to share everything with you. So stay tuned and thank you guys for being here, for watching, for staying until the end. I would really want this channel to grow and have a very good connection with you guys. So thank you for everyone who watched and see you soon.